Hey guys, my name is Sienna, and today I did a day in my life. Yesterday I've been feeling unmotivated and a little bored in my day-to-day -day life. So I wanted to introduce some creativity back into my life when it comes to my day-to-day. -day. So to start off, I woke up at 1 p.m. because last night I stayed up until 3 a.m. hanging out with some coworkers. immediately went to do laundry because I haven't done laundry in about three weeks or maybe even four and I've been re-wearing my work clothes for that amount of time. <laughs> so I cleaned my sheets and my laundry because my sheets had a bunch of dog fur on it from my aunt's dog that I watched for two weekends. my dresser area I cleaned the hallway bathroom that is technically my bathroom on Wednesdays we are having a week lunch I made grits with tomatoes and pesto I cleaned a corner of my room after that I went thrifting with my grandma we went to Goodwill and my goal <laughs> for thrifting was to find summer tops and shirts and some shorts, room decor. Then after Goodwill, we went to Moxie Burger. And then we head back home. We turned on Grey's Anatomy. I had some things that I wanted to talk about that's been on my mind recently. My attraction level towards people is a lot lower than I expected it to be when I was younger or even when I'm reading romance novels. I thought I would feel this extreme and intense pull and connection towards people and almost like an energetic exchange when doing sexual things or being touched or romance and sometimes I do feel a feeling in my lower region and it's not with everyone but it does happen here and there but the only time that I really ever felt an energetic exchange with someone was one time and it was a crazy experience um, probably shouldn't have happened but I was very manic in that state Another topic is that I think it's very important to focus on learning myself as much as I want to learn others, which is why I decided to start this day in a life because I put so much energy in trying to meet people, trying to hang out with people, but I thought, when do I really put in the effort to hang out with myself and to focus on things that bring me joy and things that bring me joy when I was a child? and wasn't necessarily able to fully commit to. But now that I'm older, I can practice patience, implement good work ethic, or what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of the word, but the thing we do every day. Habits, continuity, constant. <laughs> I can't think of the word right now. On another note, <clears throat> I've recently been thinking about my weight because I started taking antipsychotics, which made me gain a lot of weight. 
I was originally 115 and then I went to 150, which is a drastic change. And it really affected my self-esteem and self-image. I had to relearn how to look at myself and see that I am beautiful, but also take into the fact that something was wrong with the medication I was taking and that even though gaining weight is not necessarily a terrible thing, it is a sign that something is going wrong inside my system. And finally, I have been realizing that the strongest emotions I've been feeling are when I create something. Whether that be embarrassment, confidence, joy, it is the strongest emotion I feel at the time. And I wish to fill up my life with as much strong emotions as I can. And it does also come with connecting with other people. I feel strong emotions. For example, I create music and I feel joy when creating music with other people and also sharing that music. I can feel a bit embarrassed to share my music, but I heard in a podcast, they talked about how the only way to be confident is by experience and redoing the same exact procedure over and over until you build confidence. And of course, so many 20 year olds are in, not confident, unconfident, inconfident, not confident because we don't have a lot of experience in our goal. I think that's beautiful because life is about learning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and tune into some other videos in the future. I plan on making consistent, that's the word, consistent. I plan on making consistent videos moving forward into the future. And 